Alright. I finally got CM9 booted up after I flashed the uh, the boot.img. So I had to do the fast boot 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 dot boot image anyways. Um I just went through the setup thing. I just skipped through everything. And I just turned turned it on my Wi-Fi. Um, okay. With CM9 you get the new like this is one of my favorite features. You get the new Apollo. I'll turn that off so you can see. This isn't my music, so but let's just go to any of this is. Um, I'm not sure what this is. So let's kind of not go to any of this. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys the new interface. You can also like swipe. As you can tell, that's not my music. I listen to rock. I'm a rock person. But anyways, um, let me turn on the brightness a little bit. Let's go into settings. Turn on the brightness, that way you can actually see the screen. Let's turn off automatic brightness. Let's turn it, well, not all the way now. About right there. Can you see the icons? Go there. Well, you, you can see it better. Um, in all of CM9 ROMs, for its science mod, they include ROM manager and super user. They don't have this super SU, they have just the regular super user, which is my, I, I prefer just super user more. Um, the launcher, I don't think there's any custom, well, yeah, they do have some science mod wallpapers. That's off the Droid X. I don't know if anyone's ever owned a Droid X here, but I, I remember that wallpaper. And and on the Droid X, it had like a little eye in the center that used to turn around. Like it used to move. That was pretty cool. Let's just change it to one of these. You also get all these. So, I mean, you get a lot of wallpapers. So, I mean, it's kind of like um, AOKP. It's like you get like about a lot of wallpapers. Um, remove the clock widget. You get the five home screens. This is a stock launcher. Let's go into the app drawer. You get Torch. That's that's one of my favorite apps. I like it because of the let's turn high brightness on. Except turn on a little stroke thing. I think that's really cool. That is, that is why I, I like to see them wrongs. Is for the little torch. I mean, there's there's apps that you can get to do that, but Signage Mod has it built in. So go back. Um, you get Google Talk, Terminal, Speech Recorder. Um, let's check out the camera. Let's see if the camera works. Let's go to settings. Let's see if the flash works. So the flash didn't come on, so assuming the flash doesn't work. Let's go to the video recorder. Um on the slide it says 720p does not work. I don't know if that's for a different build. Let's try it. Turn the light on. Can't really see anything. There we go. Whoa. Sorry about that. So, let's try to record. So, 720p does not work, but 480 does. So, I mean, you can't shoot in HD, but you do get to 720p. Let's, let's go into settings. Let's see what version of Android this is running. Um... You can see the Incredible 2, 4.0.4. So this isn't on um, 4.0.3. He actually upgraded it. Let's see if we overclock it. Got a maximum. Let's try 1.5. So 
let's set it on performance. I don't need a battery, so let's set it on performance. Let's see. So, I mean, it's running really good at 1.5 gigahertz so, so far. That's, I, I like that feature. You can see where your finger's at. Let's go to the CM settings. You have profiles, so you can set home, night, silent, work. Like, you can set certain features for each of those. So let me go into night. You can say if you want mobile data on, off, Wi-Fi, notifications, media, vibrator overrides. That's, does that sound funny to anybody else? I'm sorry, it's like 2, 2.30 in the morning. Oh no, it's 2.45. It's, see, it's, it's even up there. Okay, let's go back. Um, CM is supposed to have their own... Yeah, see, so Steam has their own ringtones too. That was actually pretty cool. I would, I would probably use that. Um, you get quiet hours in here too. Volume. And you can set the touches. Go to display. I don't think there's anything special in here. Oops, size the volume rocker wake. Alright. Well, let's go to launcher. See what kind of stuff you can do. You can change the number of home screens. Um, I'm just going to leave it on default 5. Grid size. The default screen for the home screen. I just leave it in the center. Edit vertical spacing. Or extra, I mean. Horizontal padding, search bar, resize any widgets a good feature. Transition effect, probably my favorite is the tablet. I think it's it's pretty cool. Um, scroll wallpaper, show page, fade, page indicator, Twitter drawer, transition effect, transition effect. Um, let's just leave it as the stack, stock ICS, fade side pages. And then general, auto rotate screen. Let's check that on. Alright, let's go to lock screen. I'm not sure what all is working on this. So, so under lock screen, you get the screen securities. You did get face unlock. I don't, I'm not sure if, if it works. Let's see if it works. Hmm. Oh, so face unlock seems to be working. It's, I just turned the light off so you can actually see, but face, face unlock works. It's set on default. So, you can display the weather on the lock screen. Just show my location. So temperature, locations, weather enabled. You can show calendar, slider shortcuts. So you can add up, so you can add more than just these, which is pretty cool. It's like if you want Gmail. You can put it there if you want Twitter. If you want Facebook on the other one, you can add those too. Let's go into themes. You can apply themes that you download off the market, like if you want the dark eyes or the red eyes theme. But I like the red eyes. You should go check that out off the market. I'm not signing to my account on here, so I can't really access the uh, Play Store. For system, you have status bar. You should know this by now, but this is your status bar. You get the toggles at the top, which you can change. AM, PM style, if you want it up there in the top, right? Show clock, you can make the battery status style. Go to percentage, percentage goes right there next to it. Or you can just hide it all together. So if you want to hide that, hide the clock. Signal text style, hit in. You just left with Wi-Fi. Not sure why anybody would do that, but I mean, if if you want it to look, you know, clean up there, I guess you would. So, got an icon. You get the brightness control where you slide your finger across. I've never gotten that to work. If you know how to get that to work, um, please leave it in the description because I can never figure out how to get that to work. 
Here's the power widget, height on change, height indicators, the indicators when you're scrolling back and forth if you have more than the number that it will allow up there. So let's just check all these on. And I'll show you the page in indicator. And also you can change the brightness like the the modes at the bottom okay I don't know why I talk about YMAX but as you can see you can scroll that is the page indicator right there by the way that you see scrolling so you, you can hide that so if you pick hide in indicator you can't well I think you may have to re reboot for that to take effect no it's hide scroll bar okay there we go you got it torch um you get a lot of widgets like play pause skip let's go back haptic feedback um set that on put your button order so if you want some things first you can change that font size just leave that normal wallpaper i'm not sure what kind of live wallpaper is coming with this you can also the default default ICS. Oops. Not really seeing anything different right there. Wi-Fi seems to be working. Someone got mad because I put your iPhone sucks. So now I have Android sucks. I think that's kind of funny. Hit back. As you can see a little the transition oh I don't know if you can or not. It's Let's see what kind of widgets come with this. Um, you have the Apollo music widget. So let's put that right there. Just got break. Now you now you can see the transition effect of like the tablet. Um, calendar, email. What I got? I mean, like just kind of stock. Put a little torch widget. Bright widget. With that. Oops, I hit back, so it, it, it didn't save, but I mean, you get the point. So, press and hold home, you get to swipe away. Swipe everything away. Um, but that was my review of Sign Engine Mod 9, Aero Evans 530 2012 build for the HTC Droid Incredible 2.